Now we've got some wholesale roles set up, we can start adding pricing for our wholesale users. To do that, you need to choose which pricing options you'll use and you can combine them as you wish. So at the most simple level, you can add a global percentage discount for each wholesale role. So let's say that our standard wholesale role will have a 30% discount off all of the standard product prices and the gold wholesale role will have a 50% discount. Well, we can do that on the role setting screen. So here we have the roles page that we were on in the previous lesson. So we need to edit a role and just simply add the number percentage that you want them to have as their discount. So I've added 30 for wholesale and then I'm going to add 50 for gold and save that. And now users on those roles will see those prices. The next level of wholesale discount is at the product category. So let's go to products categories and go into the clothing category. Well here I will see that I can add a different discount. So let's say I want to give an extra 5% um, for each role. So I have overridden my global percentage discount with a percentage for this specific category. So if a wholesale level user buys any product from the clothing category, then instead of 30%, they will be given a 35% discount and so on. And then you need to save your category page. The final level of wholesale discount is at the individual product level. We will click all products here and um, actually, first of all, we should make sure that the roles have access to specific product discounts. So we're going to go back to the wholesale plugin settings page, which is WooCommerce settings, wholesale, and then roles. Now, before we start adding individual product prices, we have to make sure we've enabled it for that role. Um, this basically keeps the edit product screen tidy in the background if you have lots of roles. So you only want to enable this if you actually do want to set individual product prices per role. So let's go here and we make sure that's ticked. And it's not ticked for the gold role, as you can see here. So I'm going to edit the gold role, tick product specific pricing and save my changes. And now I can go into the products area and choose which products I want to enter a specific wholesale price for. So let's go to long sleeve T and then I scroll down to the product data section. Here we are. So you will see that there is a sale price, um, which is part of WooCommerce itself, which comes after the regular price. And then we have two fields, which is the field for our wholesale role. So we've got the wholesale and the gold role. So I this don't add a percentage here. This is where you add an exact price. So I might want, if this is 25%, maybe I want to sell it for £10 and £8. And then when users with the relevant roles view these prices, view these products, they will see the correct pricing. If you have a variable product, you will also see these fields under the variations tab. So you can set exact prices per role for simple products or for individual variations. Now let's see what it looks like on the front end. So I'll save that and I'm going to go to my public facing website now. I'm currently logged in as an administrator and administrators see the same thing as the default wholesale role. This is to save you a bit of time in your testing. So I'm going to go to the shop page and now I can see that each price is crossed out and I can see the wholesale price. So this is 30% discount off the main price. So for the Beanie with Logo product, the main price was 20, but the wholesale price is 30% um, off, which is 14. And so it's very clear to the wholesale user what they pay and how much they're saving.